course, if you're on an expedition, you must always make sure you boil all the water. Now, this can really slow you down if you come to a lake. <laughs> Spent three days in the jungle with nothing to eat but raw caterpillars. I remember the moment I walked back into civilization. Whew, there are a few butterflies in my stomach, I can tell you. <laughs> so, I've managed to make a raft to escape the island by smashing up some boats. <laughs> OK. The next topic is... Unlikely things to hear over at Tannoy. I only work in the post office for the crumpet. Watch this. Widow number two, please. <laughs> Inter <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Attention to the submarine crew of HMS Nando's. Be careful not to burn your eyes on the peri periscope. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. And he's found a chocolate biscuit down the back of the sofa, but he's not going to celebrate because it's his old club. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Here we are at the crucible. All burning to death! <laughs> <laughs> well, the American and the Russian are out in front, and here comes the Finn. Yes, they're going to swim a lot faster now. The shark is chasing them. <laughs> hey, the next topic is unlikely things to hear on a gardening program. These pine trees smell suspiciously of air freshener. <laughs> I woke up in a field of aubergines the other day. And I thought none of these baby seals have faces. <laughs> uh, Unlikely things to hear on breakfast TV. Breakfast news now. A man has drowned in a bowl of Cheerios. Sadly and ironically, his family didn't get a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to this one. In the studio, we've got the new Doctor Who. Accidentally killed someone. <laughs> The next topic is lines you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. <laughs> Love, she said. Or vol, he replied, looking up from their game of Scrabble. <laughs> she felt... Marjorie, I'm going to kiss you like you've never been kissed before. Of course, things you wouldn't hear on a news program. Sad news now, Wally has been found. <laughs> His funeral's next week. No one knows where, but that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> and the Italian wing of Hein Soup has been put into administrone. It's not good news. I've just been talking to the American ambassador and I said to him, surely now Osama bin Laden has gone from terrorist to martyr. He said, we say tomato. <laughs> <laughs> it's that... Hey, the next topic is... Unlikely agony aunt letters. Dear Deirdre, I have spent the last six months living with a beautiful woman. But yesterday she found out... <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I have just bought a diesel VW and I am fuming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Things you wouldn't hear on a kids' TV show. <laughs> right, young Womble, today we're going to destroy the Wimbledon Tennis Championships and get rid of all this dog poo from the common. Get yourself a golf club. <laughs> Johnny's dad said, do your revision. So Johnny left school and entered the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Get the next song it is on Life is the Here at Euro 2016. Wayne Rooney's come out covered in Formica. I think the managers told them to play as a unit. <laughs> Let's not forget that Roy Keane and Martin Skirtle were clubmates at Real Sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Ronaldo down the wing and doing what he did a minute ago, and he's slightly slower. This is the replays now. <laughs> Unlikely things for a sports commentator to say. <laughs> Rooney to Vardy. Back to Rooney. To Vardy. No, neither of them can open that packet of sandwiches. <laughs> yes, this Grand Prix has been cancelled, but I've managed to catch a wasp under this paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't read in a romantic novel. <laughs> he opened an eye. She thought she might love him. He opened another eye. She thought she did love him. He opened another eye. She was put right off. <laughs> Kim turned to Andy and said, Yes, of course I will. Andy said, Thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a TV detective show. Welcome to Baker Street, madam. It seems you came from Sevenoaks via Waterloo and you bought those shoes in Selfridges. And you are here because you fear someone is stalking you. <laughs> so You're arresting me for playing chess in the road? It's because I'm black, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, it's elementary. Next up it is... <laughs> Things you didn't hear at the Olympics. I've just come out of the diving pool. Look at the colour of my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Time for the next fight now. He uh, floats like a butterfly, he stings like a bee. He's got a black belt, he's got five black belts. OK, he's a wasp. <laughs> We were afraid the Chinese were going to use doping, and here she is, what a fantastic athlete, doping! <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Hello, my name's Ads. <laughs> Phone to hear my talk about how I became obese. 888-8888. Rubbish. <laughs> Phone to hear my talk about my reaction to eating a South African bishop. O O O O O eight two two. Things you wouldn't hear on a TV cookery show. Hello and welcome to Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Today we won't be making anything. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Anyone can make this. You can't, Beatrice. Sorry, you can't beat rice.
Let's just all go home. Yeah, let's just go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give that round of applause to Ed Hugh and James.